Okay, this is today's homework. Um, we did m all of this in class. So the only one that you're responsible for is, I believe, is this one for periods one. For most of my period, my, my last class, we were responsible for this one. But I, this one was, we did in class, in the other class, and it's quite easier than this one. So let's do this together. A taxi service charge a $5 flat fee, so $5 fee, plus um, $3 per mile. Per means times, times the number of miles traveled. Okay, write an equation. Write an equation. the total cost for any taxi ride. So describe the problem situation. You're finding the total cost for the taxi ride. Okay. The problem situation is to find um, the total cost for a taxi ride. Sorry for the chicken scratch. Write an equation for total cost. Define each variable. Okay. Write an equation and define a variable. Okay. The equation is this right. The expression is that 5 plus 3x, $5 plus $3 times the number of miles, m. So m is the number of miles that you want to go. Number of miles you need to take the taxi for. That equals to what you want to find, the total cost, C. C is the total cost. Okay? So, let's look at this. Now, the um, horrible thing about your paper that I didn't realize is the graph didn't show up. So it was harder. But you'll make do. Um, zero miles, zero miles. So if you went zero miles, so let's say um, five dollars to enter the cab plus three dollars for each mile, but you didn't go anywhere, got in and get out. So your cost is this is zero, five plus zero is five dollars. So your ordered pair is zero, five. Okay, if you went three miles, so five plus five dollars plus three dollars times the three miles, so that's nine, nine for the miles and full five dollars to enter the cab, so you have a total of fourteen dollars. So three miles, well, this is zero miles. Five dollars, three miles for fourteen dollars. Okay, next one is how many miles is person going? Ten miles. Okay, well five dollars to get in the car right there. Plus three dollars each mile and you went ten miles so you need to times it by ten so you get thirty plus the five dollars to get in the car you get a total of thirty five dollars so ten miles for thirty five dollars okay five dollars to get into the cab plus three dollars per mile and you went twenty miles here times twenty you get sixty here plus the five you get sixty five so your answer is twenty miles and sixty five dollars okay now you graph that so let's look at the graph here you look only at 
the ordered pair in that. Okay. Notice all of these right here are miles. These are your X. Okay, that's this line right here, your X. So all these numbers here represents miles, but we don't want to write miles every single time. So we put um, number of miles here. And then here, and the other numbers, look at the other set of numbers right there, you know, they all have dollars. Oh, I forgot to put a dollar amount here. It's all dollar amount. That's the total cost for riding the um, taxi. So this is total cost in dollars. So this way we don't have to put ten dollars each time. We know all these are dollars here and all, all the the independent variable are all miles. Very important to label. Okay, very important to label what right here, what they are. Because you're going to go zero miles, okay, zero miles for five dollars. Zero miles, five dollars right there. The next one, I'm done. we're done with this one. Three dollars, three is right there up to 14, uh, 14, 10, it's about 15, so 14 is right below it. Uh-oh. Three, 14, about right below it, right there. And then 10, 35, 10, go up to 35, right there. And then twenty sixty five. So right there. There we go. Oh, too big of a line. Let's pick a smaller line. Connect the dots. And there you go. That's your line. Hey, the iPad's awesome. They made my line straight for me. It's the first time I noticed that. But that's how you do that one, okay? That was your only homework. Easy, right? Okay.